Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm bringing you a Team Deathmatch on Carbon. So, this is the first game that I actually went positive. It's, it's a bit embarrassing, I know, but... It took me six games before I started getting into it, starting to get the feel, and I... I actually feel like I did good and bad in this game. I'm going to point out a lot of things inside the gameplay itself that went wrong or went right, and why it happened. Because I'm trying to... Trying to do this thing where I break down my own gameplay, and hopefully that'll make me better by helping me break by me breaking down my own gameplay will help me get better as well as you guys, because you guys can learn from my mistakes as well as me learning from my own mistakes. And hopefully in the future I won't be making those mistakes again. So I've been following some basic rules, some basic guidelines you could call them, not rules. On uh, on playing it, let me get rid of that for you. Okay, so I've been following some basic guidelines, some basic uh, heads up, and that's uh, not running H2 action, as you can see here. I'm just holding back and moving forward slowly, and uh, trying to go from cover to cover. As you can see, I go straight to this piece of cover here, and I try and get on top of this, but uh, I don't realize until later on you need to go a different direction to get on top of that. Uh, this game does get laggy in a couple of sections, not too many, just a couple of sections, so it's okay, it's okay. So right here, now I almost broke one of my own rules there, running straight through a doorway, right? Uh, one of the rules, one of the guidelines, don't go running through doorways. And the reason I catch these guys all off guard is because I'm coming up beside them, and they're not expecting it. Uh, they should have they seen it coming, to be honest with you, they should have seen me red dot popping up. So... That's how I won that engagement there. I flanked around and I got people on the side and behind them. So that's the best way to win your engagement. That was an unfair engagement. I had a, I had a huge advantage there. If I had a silencer, I'd have even had a bigger advantage. So that's, that's why I won those engagements. Because I, I had all the advantages and they had none. Uh, I, I tried for a kill there and nothing happened. So well, doesn't matter. Try again. Okay, now I make a mistake. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I actually do make a mistake here. Now, I learned something from this experience. Don't ever assume you can throw a flash or a grenade through little holes on Call of Duty. That's, that's what I learned from that experience. Now, right here, the best thing for me to do is if I saw them, the best thing for me to have done there would have been pull back as fast as possible to get the hell out of there. But I went for the kill, I went to get the double kill, I wasn't on target enough, and I missed out. That is why I lost that gunfight. So if you're ever in a room and you have more than a person coming towards you, just get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, I get an unfair death there, I don't know where he was, it just... I just sort of moved away and died instantly. It was, and I figured out how to get on top of these trash cans. So if you ever wanted to know, there it is. You have to run off one bin onto the bigger bins. Now, I should have I should have been expecting a flank here. Uh, you'll see in a minute what I mean. But I didn't expect it because I had loads of friends in the area. I had one person going through the building that this guy come from. See this guy come out of that building. And he actually come from a building where two other guys were, so... Yeah, they, they should have got him first. So that was a bit of an unfair death as well. So there's two unfair deaths and uh, one completely fair death. I, I think it's too unfair. I don't know. Here is a completely fair death. I set myself up for a fair fight. I should have been either lying down or further back behind cover. That was not a good play on my part. I... I kicked myself for not for not seeing that I put myself in a fair fight uh, situation, which I I completely see now. But at the time I didn't see it. You got to think on your feet. You got to move fast. You got to think fast, and it's quite hard. This guy, uh, he was he was set himself up for a fair fight. Then he he came running down towards me. He knew I was full ammo. I mean, there's no way I wouldn't be full ammo. Why would you come charging towards somebody like that? straight up in front of their faces. That's the worst thing you could do. I mean, the best thing he could have done there was lie down, backed up, or throw a stun. Anything anything like that would have been better than running straight at my face. 
So he hurt himself a death there. Well done. Well done, earning yourself your own deaths. Okay, so I know they're over in this general area, and I know they're not in the building right next to me. So, I mean to the right. Now to the left of me, I know there's someone in there. I heard him running around. And I came in there. Now, I did have an advantage on him slightly, but there was more of a fair fight than anything were. This is a completely, uh, completely unfair situation. He did not expect me to come up behind him there. Uh, and I had another friend who had the same idea, but failed to failed to act upon it fast enough, and I got the kill before he did. So moving back up into the building here, I can see red dots around this area, so I know there's somebody around this this particular area somewhere. I catch him running straight out in the open. Worst thing you can do, running straight out in the open, and I'm just about to break one of that rule myself. I'm about to run straight out in the open. See this? Just lagging up here, but moving straight up out in the open. I have completely, um, I'm completely blinded by the uh, counter UAV. I see the bullets there, so I wait a few seconds, see if he's going to move. I heard some footsteps, so I decided to pull up, and I got the kill. Right here is a fair death. Um, I am not a good a sniper, and I should have I should have backed up even further there. That was completely fair. It was good play on his part. I don't know if he knew I had a sniper or not, but if you have, if I'd known there was someone with a sniper out there, I would have gone out spraying because I have the advantage, as in I have more bullets. There we go. Froggy 2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. For more Modern Warfare 3. Nice. 11 and 2.